everybody. Welcome. welcome to the For the Chivo podcast. Welcome to the For the Chivo podcast. Welcome to For the Chivo podcast. Perfect. It got, better, <laughs> it got better for everyone who did it. Uh, let's start yes. off. I'm, it's I'm, like telephone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Eric or Papa Loach. I'm this guy. Uh, Jeff. Schnivaz. Guy. Patient assassin. One. Banana phone. I'm Killer Fox. <laughs> <laughs> Banana phone. <laughs> <laughs> Banana phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Banana. So anyway, we're going to start off with uh, some For the Chivo announcements. Uh, we have that event coming up in October where we're hopefully going to be live streaming. Uh, you know, we just had a meeting this... Uh, was that yesterday or the day before? That was... Day before. Yeah, it was the day before. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we, in we the had, end. Yeah, in the end, it doesn't even matter. That's why my girlfriend broke up with me. Anyway. Um, Kaz Gears, Gears, thank yes. you for the host, sir. Yes. Thank you for the Much love. love. So, we talked to the, the guy who owns uh, the comic book store in town. He's getting us to the table. We're going to be front stage at this event, so we're very much looking forward to that. Very and, uh, excited. You know, the only thing that we really need to hash out still is internet speeds and capability which uh you know thanks um <laughs> which we'll find out here in probably the next two weeks or so no no more than that you know what yeah I mean? like, we're getting the, down to the wire. once we get that down you know as long as we have internet I, if one one way or another we are going to have content from the event don't worry oh yeah if for some odd reason we just can't get internet we will pre-record the entire thing even if we do have internet and but, probably just ship it out as <laughs> is not even really edited yeah. So probably at first, and then we could probably do some edits, yeah, get sure some highlights. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. In, uh, we we we're sick of uh, hitting our heads. Rather, I was sick of hitting. Heidi, my head. welcome. And we got more stream. room for activities. Yeah. yeah, they could do aerobics. We even have this in front of us. It's a it's a chest. Just in case, uh, if I get tired. <laughs> Eric, 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 Jeff. Eric, Jeff. Hi. <laughs> It's Eric, like you Eric, stutter. Eric, Jeff, go on. <laughs> Eric, Eric, Jeff. <laughs> Eric, Eric, Jeff, go on. <laughs> yeah. It's like inky, blinky, hey. pinky, and quad. So Forgiven I, G. Welcome. Welcome to Forgiven G. So I, I'm, I literally cannot wait for this event. It's our first real huge-ish yeah. event, and they were nice enough to make us front and center. Yeah. Um, put us on the stage and pretty much allow us to run a lot of the events that's going on. True. Inclu inclu like, including the cosplay contest. Yeah. So um, we're we're even uh, we're even going to be sponsored. Mastermind, welcome, welcome to the stream, welcome. man. With sweet, sup, dude? Yeah, we're even going to have sponsors for this event. Uh, you know, a couple places I talked to are going to give me some signage and s among other things. You know, um, it, you know, and uh, I'm going to talk to a couple other places, and if they got things to give away, you know, it's good for them, good for us, and yeah, good for you guys. Good to uh, you know get stuff. We kind of talked to uh, the guy down at Soda Pop as well. The Soda Pop shop. Yeah, what do, what do you uh, you have anything to say about it? Nothing useful. He doesn't have a late one. Yeah, true. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> That's all we care about. That's all we care about. Nothing else. I haven't. Ha we haven't had any in quite some time, considering it, they sell it in Sandusky now. It's a, it's a flute. It's a flute. Fake flute. What'd you say? What table? Um, what table? Yeah, that's Coke. not a table. It's <laughs> Jeff's bedroom. Cherry toy. Coke. Be be good, Kaz Gears. Um, Kaz, don't worry. You don't have to read it all off. And by the way, one of your headphones are backwards. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case I need to hear. <laughs> I'm gonna do it too. <laughs> so I would actually like to plug the comic book shop. If we could. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Absolutely. Go ahead. Uh, I, the owner, I've actually known for a very long time. Uh, it's called the Pop Shop. Uh, they've got. Everything in there, which uh, is completely different than soda, soda pops. pops. Yes. yes, two different stores, two, two different, different stores. areas. Uh, One's nerds who sell soda; the others nerds who drink soda. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. And one doesn't sell soda. <laughs> actually, they do. Well, they, they do. have they like far less soda, but it's not the special. <laughs> less <TV>. variety. <laughs> no special uh, sodas. But at the pop shop, they've got comic books. They've got uh, nerdum. Uh, like uh, nerd old movie. school uh, said nerdum toys. <laughs> yeah, you missed the D. You missed the D. Nerd dumb. Nerd dumb. 
Whatever. You're nerd him. Nerd him. Nerd him. Nerd him. Nerd him. Nerd him. <laughs> you nerd herder. <laughs> anyway. Shout out to the Star Wars references here. What's the podcast about today, or is it just talking about anything? No, it's not talking about anything. We got, uh, <laughs> we'll start off with Webster here with, uh, he was going to talk about remasters and what's came out in the last probably 10 years. <laughs> you know, I was the say, basically, because they keep remastering everything. Yeah. Right. Um, I'm recently? talking about, uh, ISPs and Windows and everything else. Actual nerdum. I'm nerd-um. talking about, uh, cinematic stuff, like, uh, some announcements they made with uh, DC new characters, new characters such. actually being added into the live action movies. And then was Eric talking about? Eric's gonna uh, talk nothing. about yeah, nothing. <laughs> Do it. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Talk nothing. about nothing and everything. Okay, I'm gonna talk about home brewing games. Uh, like making a game on for on an outdated platform. Like I think that should be a thing. I think it should be a hobby. Some people can't. I've fruit. actually thought of that too. Yeah, you know, some people can't <laughs> fruit. Some people make uh, N64 games in their basement. You know. Yeah. Some mm-hmm. people grow meth. You know, what's healthier? Gr- gr- um, grow, grow, don't worry about it. Grow, Just let grow it go. Just meth. Yeah. Moving on, All right, Eric. So. Anyway. <laughs> wow. Grow uh, meth. All right. Grow meth. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you. I'll let you dive. He just right let me go that. right in after that. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> So remasters, there's been a Drugs. lot of remasters that have come out <laughs> recently. Uh, yeah. really has. Within the past week, we had Bioshock and Dead Rising collections. Bioshock 1 got completely remastered from the <laughs> kind of ground up in a way. Looks pretty nice. <sighs> um, Dead Rising, on the other hand, Dead Rising 1, it's definitely showing its age. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I realized that as I started playing it, I'm like, wow, this is super clunky. Why do remasters keep happening? Yeah. So you yeah. don't like the remasters? I do, but then at the same time, it reminds me, this is an old game. Bioshock does rule. Bioshock does. Yes. Which it's a great game. I, it I definitely had, it, it, it ages well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Except Dead for two. Rising, though, no. Except for two. Except for two. Nothing. The DLC is okay. Liked, the I liked Mervina's Den DLC. That's actually pretty good. Why are you here? Get out! <laughs> Get out! <laughs> Leave! But, uh, Maybe I will. Gosh. But yeah, like I mean, I like remasters, but th- I mean, come on, there's too many. Yeah, I mean, even Nintendo jumped on the train yeah. of remasters. I mean, they actually, in my eyes, they almost started it. Um, they they started remastering That's true, a lot of different Zeldas games and stuff with like, with Legend of Zelda and um, well, even, that, even that was Mars warranted. Really you know what I mean? That was they asked like for years before they even got a remaster. But they also didn't give a crap about the people who wanted it. They remastered <laughs> Super Mario 64 on the DS and it was trash. It, a lot of people put it on it a DS. That's exactly. why. Exactly. <laughs> if they would have put it on the Wii, everyone would have been happy. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But they put absolutely. it but they put it on the DS and then they split the community. A lot of people loved it, other half of it didn't love it, and they added characters to the game. And changed the formula, in yeah. my opinion. So, that yeah, ruined yeah, it for that, me. That throws off the balance of the game because they probably spent, you know, X amount of weeks, months, even probably trying to balance out character strengths oh, yeah. and all right. that stuff. And like I hate. Speed. And, and I, I really like hated that. that. The last second, like that's it not throws good. off the balance One of the whole game. It's like, oh, let's just pick Mewtwo. Because that's what happened <laughs> with uh, when they did the Halo collection. Remember the grav lifts? They yeah. took out yeah. the physics for that, so you yeah. can't throw grenades up grav lifts. Yeah. I thought what? that was a Wait a second, thing. in the Master yeah. Chief collection? Yes. yes. So Under, yeah, on what? On Halo Two for like lockout, like when you know you can like uh, normally you can throw grenades. They up. took that out. Yeah, you I can't never noticed that. Yeah. Me and Glenn noticed that the first time. Like you can't really grav lifts don't have like gravity like. Make yeah, stuff go up. Only, only player. Only, only player. player. Yeah. Wow, that's stupid. I actually did not know that. We yeah. know we found that out within like the first hour of playing like our normal game, and we're like, we tried to throw. And like, wait a minute. Yeah, this gonna, isn't right. That's dumb. That. Yeah, that's dumb. We're gonna have to try. I that, didn't dude. know that. That frustrates me too. Yeah, I think they did a great job. They did do a good job. Oh yeah, job especially because yeah. you can toggle the graphics. <laughs> right? Once, so it, started like, <laughs> 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 Once <laughs> it started working. Once it started working. I had um, it the first day it came out too. I'm like, yeah, we see what we did. We do. do. We I'll actually play have, eventually. Uh, we have the <laughs> cardboard box from the day that we were there because I knew the guy who won it. Like he. They gave away the uh, like the box, the display box, the display, oh, okay. box. display box. It's up. It's in the basement. Yeah, it's in our. It's in the yeah. office. So 
we we were like, I knew the guy who won. And he's like, I don't want this. I, I don't even think he was there to get the game. He was there to get some of. He was there for game. Assassin's Creed. Oh yeah, he was there for Assassin's Creed. We're there to get the Master Chief collection. You know yeah. what I mean? Like we're like, oh, yeah, that's right. They I'm like, come what's up, up you freaking nerds? Like walking <laughs> out, like pushing kids to the ground. Like I don't care. <laughs> like in slow motion too. Oh, I don't even know how he did that. Just. <laughs> like, oh, what are you doing? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, I agree. Remasters. Some people, some hit and miss. There's some games that deserve to do it. Yeah. Like if it, yes. I, I feel like there's a gap. Like there's a certain amount of time that needs to pass before you yeah. can consider to do a remaster. Like they the uh, that come out like last generation towards the end should not get a remaster. Well, yeah. I thought well, Fable, Fable was remastered for the 360. That makes yeah. And, and but the thing is, it was originally an Xbox game, so there was one. You know, there was wasn't even a like, console in between them. It was just remastered way late. It was probably ten years later. 12 years later. Well, you know. They did it for the anniversary, though. Yeah, so but then it comes yeah. to the point, like, they're just doing it to milk money. Like, oh, let's yeah. be honest. Of course. Of course. Because, milk money. okay, so first you got the Xbox, which has, like, the whole, like, backwards compatibility and stuff now. <laughs> Jeff was milking the money. He's milking the money. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. All right, I, you, I, you have, <laughs> you have the Xbox that Milking has cows. like, you know, the backwards compatibility stuff. Right. Sony still won't get off the horse of the streaming PlayStation Now stuff. They could totally do remasters. Right. I mean not remasters, backwards compatibility if they uh, wanted to. If they yeah. if they took time to do it, they could do it. Was it you and I that talked about that? Yes. that they already can. Yeah. It can they read can. the disc. Yeah. They, it just they don't have they don't the do software it. to read it. They just you know won't I mean? do it. They, yeah. won't, it has they the, don't want to abandon PlayStation now because, you know, that's a big mess anyway. It It is. It's bad. It's, I, I don't know if you know PlayStation now. It's their, very well. It's their streaming service to, like, play PlayStation 3 games on it's the PlayStation like, 4. Uh, yeah, I've heard it's about It's like that. Uplay. Yeah. Not, not Uplay. Uh, well, yeah. the, the thing I hate about that is, is bandwidth. Mm-hmm. And we're coming to that, too. That's the um, yeah. And uh, we're, we'll touch base a bit more on it later, but I, with ISPs having caps on data, the last thing I want is a service that constantly requires me to stream all the time. Mm-hmm. If it can be s- hung out on my and, system, I'd be okay see, with it. And that's it. the thing, though. With this streaming service, there's input lag, <coughs> and you can tell. Yep. yep. And, it, I mean, some games, you don't really need to worry about it too much, but then there's others, though. It's like... That little They're second really critical. Lag, yeah, like, Th- those moments are critical. You know, uh, we're gonna kind of dive, you know, into his topic that's touching yours here with your the eyes. Don't awesome. be gross. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Okay. Right. Thank you. Anyway, with I the data merge. caps, like you were saying. <laughs> yeah. You know, are we are we done with the topic yeah. of uh, remaster? Well, I was I was yeah. actually gonna bring up one more thing with oh, that. Okay, but go ahead. Here in a little bit, uh, uh, Intego Prophecy. Just, oh yeah, I, I was waiting. For him. Yeah, I, I thought that was gonna Glenn, be when like, you talked. It was gonna be between you two. I honestly can't w- see. Here's the thing about Bioshock remasters. I'm excited for it, but at the same time, I'm not. Right. Because I liked Bioshock Infinite, and that's what got me into the Bioshock. Um, that's actually in the collection. It is, but they but didn't do not, anything. Yeah, with it's just it. a PC high res version. Yeah, they, they, didn't oh, wow, they, they didn't change anything. They didn't change anything. anything. They just like ported it over from PC. Yeah, you yeah. know what I was gonna say <laughs> though with the data caps is, you know, they the statistics of people who play video games play video games X amount of hours per week. It's like they'll be like, ah, uh, you play yes, probably yes, ten hours a week. So that means you play f- two hours a day, five days a week. So that's like just it. An, average gamer you know some gamers right. will play for like 20 minutes and be like all right well i'm gonna go outside and do this <clears throat> and other gamers like most of us sitting in this room right now will say we'll sit and we'll play minecraft for six hours and then we'll switch over to i'm, I'm except for him example. except for me it's an example i'm saying like we'll play this game days. for six hours Die. then we'll switch over to this game for another two and then we'll go to bed you know so that's like we'll play games eight hours a day you know so the with the data caps, especially if you're streaming a game consistently for that eight-hour time limit, yeah, it's like that's gonna eat your data. I thought you flicked me off for a second. Oh <laughs> I thought you did, <laughs> bro. No, you're absolutely right. And uh, to go into that, um, if we're gonna talk, actually do the data um, cap talk, is my experience with data caps have been heck because I am in the IT industry. Right. I work on computers. I do everything I do is data. And as soon as they came out with the idea of data caps, I was livid. The first time I saw it was Verizon. 
They started the whole spiel yeah. of data caps. Like, it it's never a big was a deal to give you something that like isn't even like a physical thing. Right. It doesn't cost them more. Well, uh, th there's there's some aspects to it. There's yeah. reasons why. Hi, welcome to the stream. I've got time. Hello. Talk about the runscapes. Talk. We might touch on that. Depends. But the thing about data caps is they showed up around when Verizon decided to do it for their cell phones. Um, and it's the reason why I'm still on Sprint, to be honest. They may not have as good service, but I never have to look at my phone and watch video and be concerned the entire time right. that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to burn up my data. Right. I have enough to worry about with my freaking battery. Yeah. <laughs> right. um, I have two spare batteries, and I run out of them every day. Anyways, um, so that in, in itself drives me nuts. Then hey, IS, ISP started doing it. That was dumb for me because I, and I'm like, know, I now wait guy. a second. There's a difference between phone carrier because I get it. There's a lot of people on one tower and stuff yeah. like that, and there's a they they have to harbor a lot of different connections. But now we got home internet that's getting data capped. I ran a small business, okay, and I'm like, I was doing offsite backups to my. I was telling you about this last mm -hmm. night. Offsite backups to a different site to take all of my data on my server and back it up. As soon as they implemented that data cap, I couldn't anymore because my data cap for the month was smaller than the entire data I needed to back up. Pointless for me. I had a How terabyte your cap, 250 gigs. Yeah, really? Yeah. yeah. Cap was, yeah. Now wow. it's it's higher now, but not much. You probably had to talk to them like th like the standard ones for AT and T. I know are like 300 yeah, and but, 250. But but the thing about it that drives me nuts is the fact that I can't do that. And th and they ended up telling me, hey, if you get business class service, you don't have to worry about that. I got an office a year later. I activated my service. And it was even lower data cap. I'm like, if I would have recorded that conversation, I would have sued the crap out of those guys. But I didn't. But anyways. We're going to have to start recording. Coming into the gaming scene, though, that actually affects gamers more than it does mostly anybody. Right. Unless you're doing something illegal, like downloading movies and um, or hosting torrents or something like that. So that drives me mad because you know what? I feel kind of singled out by the industry. And then we go into net neutrality. Mm -hmm. Um and uh, the whole spiel that went down, well, net neutrality actually won. We, uh, we as the people, thank God, actually won the fight against um, the... Which, if anyone doesn't know what net neutrality is, is basically it's, um, ISPs can't block or charge a premium for use, you using certain services. Um, so really? For, yeah, because... So if right, I go to a certain website... 65% of all internet traffic worldwide is Netflix. Wow. And ISPs yeah. hate it. Yeah, so it. they were going to start charging. ISPs were starting to charge a premium for if you were going to use Netflix. And if you didn't pay that fee, you could not access Netflix. It was blocked. So they that's what started this whole spiel about uh, net neutrality. I, so we, I used to play RuneScape, but it's been a very long time. I um, so, so the problem with that came down to, okay, well, that's in, in yeah, a way right. that's you're blocking your fr the, your freedoms are being blocked. Right. That at some point they could start blocking you from getting to social sites that are like uh, revolution revolutionary against government, all that stuff. People could start blocking things that you could get to. So oh, seriously, though, it try to block uh, uh, anonymous for real. Right. Just yeah. Try right. to block. <laughs> That's gonna work. Right. <laughs> that would really hurt you. So <laughs> now here's the thing that drives me nuts: is we won the net neutrality. But you know what? The ISPs got around it. They realized they could not block us, so they just did a blanket. That blanket was data caps. Say, okay, you can't go to these things that cause a significant amount of bandwidth um, problems for us. You, you can't go to these, but we can't say you can't, so we're just going to give you a blanket limit. And then limit. extra. Give you a blanket you limit. It. And if you go over those, whether, whatever service you use... What does it cost them? To give you an unlimited data, like say say you only uh, say you have a 250 gigabyte data cap, okay. and you use about 260 gigs. So what does it cost them? Them technically nothing because exactly. they they have a tier two service, so they technically have an unlimited. You're making you're but making a hypothetical product and giving it to the people, <laughs> and then and then cutting them off. For no reason other than the fact that you're greedy, you want more money. Right. But it's very the reason why is not only that, but also they justify it with um, bandwidth limitations. 
They only have a pipe so big at their end going to their next tier. And if everyone starts hitting that all at once with Netflix and their internet starts getting slow, they get complaints, they have to issue refunds, they have problems with connectivity... And it bogs down their network. Oh God forbid if the guy has to if the if the CEO has to sell his Bentley. Oh, I know, right? Say, Eric, you got a question? Oh, I got a question. Yeah, uh, how many of the goblins have you killed? Um, uh, talking about RuneScape. Uh, RuneScape. I've actually only played RuneScape for like five minutes. I was not, <laughs> from one to I was not very good at it. I was a. Uh, <laughs> I was I was a World of Warcraft nerd, so we, we you know. do enjoy the Coca Cola. We do. Yeah. Well, it's cherry Coca Cola. Yeah, exactly. It's only cherry Coke that we enjoy. And a late one. And a late one. Yeah. And a late one. And occasionally surge. Anyways. Anyways. Um, so to finish up this thought, I wanted to um, read a very short. Er- I don't want to read the whole thing. It's big, but um, th- this is on the FCC's website. Mm-hmm. Okay. And in my opinion, they are violating this piece of information. Um. It basically states that consumers will demand more and more and better bandwidth as they enjoy new lawful internet services, applications, and content, and broadband providers cannot block, throttle, or create special fast lanes for this content. So their loophole is, we'll just overall give you a cap. And... It says, the FCC's open internet rule protect and maintain open, uninhibited access to legal online content without broadband internet access providers being allowed to block, impair, or establish fast, slow lanes to lawful content. Now, in my eyes, that includes caps. Yeah. In, in one way or another, you are either blocking, impairing, or establishing a fast, slow, fast slash slow lane. In my eyes, that meets that qualification. Yeah. yeah. So... Why is no one doing anything about this? Well, truthfully, all we can do is sit there and complain until somebody says, you know, okay, we're going to do this. Right. And, and it's like, what can we do? Sign a petition? Because that's still up to the FCC. Right. Regardless. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So, and you know what? They, um, What's up? Yeah, another question. Oh, I got another question? Uh, they're looking to get involved with the podcast. Uh, can I appear on the stream as a... Um, um, not today, not but today. Um, we'd have to talk about it. Our, our next podcast that's going to, we'd be able to possibly do that would be, uh, November. Yeah, that'd be next month. That's we do podcasts once a month, but thank you for your interest. You decide, do we know you yeah, or, you, uh, yeah. you might know, you, I didn't know if you're in the area or anything like that. Um, if not, that's fine. We're not going to say that you can't, but yeah, we would we, want to touch base with you. So, uh, we've done a Skype call before. They're oh, not. Yeah. They're not fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, they're hard. Yeah, it can be a pain, uh, but it's not entirely undoable because believe me, we've done it before and it yeah. it can make it work. Right. Um. But yeah, that's my thought about data caps. Is just it's bull crap. Yeah. They they are. It's another government regulation. They're trying to get around, um, the rules. Prohibition and has never worked. <laughs> <laughs> Ever not. And I'm not even talking about the alcohol. I'm talking about the first prohibition. That was when God said to Eve, "Don't eat the apple." <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work. The word of God wasn't enough <laughs> to stop somebody from doing something they weren't supposed to do. Yeah, you know what true. I mean. Yeah, Prohibition has true. never worked. Yeah. All right, so right, you can't. You're gonna do that. You know, it's gonna start something. I, I, I feel like next ten years, I wouldn't be surprised if it's bullets for bread. You know what I mean? Anyway, yeah. let's move Anyways. on from Whoa. the depressing that, topics. That would get into... Where was Eric going? Like you, I don't know where you were going there. <laughs> Is it? I guess it would. Yeah, well... Yeah, that, it would. I was going to I was gonna end with me, though, just because, you know... I'm, just just, cause. Yeah, just, just because. Just because you want to try to save the last... Uh, yeah, the best for last. last. Yeah, that's yeah. that's what it is. It's certainly not because I have an, uh, uh, just a related that. announcement with, with my I actually do that. live across the street. I don't know if you have seen me before... Wait, look seriously? now, I have. I'll have from my window. Uh, look now, I'll have from my window. I'm. I'm. I, I want. I, 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 gotta, <laughs> I, I gotta go look. Stranger danger. I was say it'd actually be pretty funny if like that's actually true. <laughs> um. 
He's making you li- wait. Are, wait, and there was somebody outside like two seconds ago. Are you serious? So are you outside? Yeah, but he just walked back inside the go house. Go ahead and wait. Uh, go wave again. Yeah, go wave again. Hi, wherever you are. Wave again. I mean, I thought is it was this, a kid from no, across the street. Is this really a thing? He's <laughs> je, je, he might have. Was know. he wearing a yellow T-shirt? Yeah, I, was. I didn't. I, no, I think it was black. Um. <laughs> weird. <laughs> is this for real? <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> while he's figuring that, that out, that was uh, his dad. I guess that walked in. Oh, huh. uh, Glenn, um, you said one thing that this made weird. me really excited, and that was Deathstroke. What do you have to say about? I'm gonna be mad if he doesn't actually live across the street, and he just no, maybe that was his dad walking in. That was oh, his okay. Well, then, yeah, that, yeah, I know him then. Right. Yeah, I don't see any reason why we couldn't even actually just have you on a stream. We've wanted to have you on a stream before, but we don't want your parents to think we're like, hey, little kid, you want to be on a podcast? Yeah. You know? <laughs> we got, we got <laughs> candy. <laughs> Wait, I'm just kidding. Jeff never has any candy. Jeff, get some freaking candy. <laughs> Come on, Jeff. Get good. I get want good. candy, Jeff. You promised me candy when I got in the van. I never promised you candy. When I got in the van, you said there'd be candy. There was no candy, and you tried I, to grab me. I asked you if you wanted candy. I never said I had any. Lawyer. <laughs> Anyways. Anyway. Glenn said something to me, Deathstroke. So I am excited about it. But also worried. Equally worried, right? Yes. Um, because of the person that they have playing Deathstroke. Oh, who's the actor? It's actually Kevin Bacon. <laughs> separation. You you shouldn't have those pauses like that. I can easily say stuff like that. <laughs> Amy Schumer. Amy <laughs> Schumer. <laughs> you decide if uh, you want to come in and watch. It's but actually gonna silently. Be, uh, you're welcome to. There's a guy from Magic Mike, not the main. Not uh, what's his name? Not uh, the, yeah, Channing. Mean, but Ch- Channing. Yeah. Ask your parents if you uh, want to come and just sit and watch. You're welcome to. Uh, yeah. It's one of the other guys. He would. He was actually already in a uh, now, superhero there. movie. Yeah, typically anyone that's been in a superhero movie be does the second okay, one, okay. and their second one's actually worth it. <laughs> uh, thing is, he wasn't the superhero. Oh, who is he? Uh, in the original Spider-Man with uh, uh, Tobey Maguire. Tobey oh, Maguire and uh, William Dafoe. No, Dafoe. No, it's Defoe. not. I love Dafoe. I do, I do. No, it's not Dafoe. Uh, there's a scene uh, in, like, the hallway where he's fighting a bully. Oh, Flash? Oh, that dude. That's Flash. Yeah. No. Not Flash? No. 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 Uh, I know who you're Flash. talking about. Yeah. Uh, the tall guy. Yeah, the he, big guy. Yeah, big the guy. The bully was Flash is what I'm was saying. Was it? Yeah, that's his name. Yeah. In the, in the, in the comics, the, 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 okay. his name is Flash. Yeah. So uh, it's Flash. So that's the guy him? Who played Flash. The guy that played Flash is... Wow. Uh, I that's, could, that's yeah. good. He wasn't. The thing is, like, Deathstroke he didn't really was get, an older gent. Yeah, I mean, you know he's older I mean? now. He's older now. I guess. Yeah, the thing that movie's been out for and a while. How actually, long has that movie been out? <laughs> wow, I'm thinking back now. I'm like, I was a kid, yeah, but I'm not that old. I don't feel like I'm that What's old. What's up? What's up? Can I bring my dad? My mom left him, and he's lonely recently. I, I should have probably read that out loud. But yeah, I, I mean, Jeff's, Jeff's out, out there, there Jeff's somewhere. So you can there, converse so. with him and. He will, uh, you know, let you know. Uh, IGN actually posted a funny video uh, about uh, when Batman finds out who it actually is. Like when they yeah. announce the uh, actor. It's yeah, you can bring your dad. I guess that's cool. Yeah, I, I, I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, head on over if you want, man. Yeah, uh, pretty much it's the guy dancing <coughs> like as if he was in Magic Mike. And it, yeah, it, it's horrible. Was, was he? How old was he? I'm not sure. In Magic Mike, I'm saying. I I don't know. I've never seen the movie. Yeah, me so. either. I've never seen that either. Yeah. I I'd hope. Jeff. Jeff. What? I've Mike? never seen Magic Mike. Okay. <laughs> uh-huh. Just had sure. to make sure. Just nobody he has. has seen it. He has. <laughs> Get, yeah, why'd you get so defensive about it? Yeah. <laughs> if anyone like, would have no. seen it here, it would have been me, to be honest. And, like, that's just because, I don't know, I just watch those weird movies, but whatever. 
I like I like Channing Tatum. Which he, uh, if I heard correctly, he's going to be playing Gambit. Yeah, in the they, standalone they movie. said that. Not in a stand. It wouldn't have been in a standalone, yeah. was it? Yeah, it was supposed to be a standalone uh, Gambit movie. I don't think Gambit should have a standalone. He wasn't no. like he was a cool super super hero. He well, was he was an antihero. He wasn't really a no, superhero. I, at first, he was an antihero, and then he actually joined did, in the X Men. Oh, okay, so he did join the X Men. Yeah, he I actually did, did join in the X Men. I knew he was an antihero, but so were half the people like in the Deadpool like same kind of well, Deadpool universe. was always an antihero. Yeah. Yeah, Deadpool is just well. There was Deadpool, Deadpool Gambit. Deadpool is uh, Deadpool. I can't remember. There's like, because technically Sabretooth, because he's not a villain. He 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 was just against Wolverine. That was it. The X Force. The X Force. He, he was he was mostly against Wolverine. He didn't care about any of the other guys. The original X Force, uh, because that was back when Wolverine was completely brainwashed. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then he. Right, pretty much realized what After, was happening. Well, he lost his memory, and then that kind of triggered like his own thought process instead of somebody else's. <laughs> yeah, so you decide. Um, if you guys want to come over, I got chairs for you. Yeah, we come we over and hang out. Up. So if you want to do that, you're welcome to That's just come over and knock on the door. Come and knock on the door. Just knock in and walk in. Honestly, <laughs> 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 sound, sound, sound three is company too. <laughs> <laughs> Futurama references. Anyways. Anyways. What I missed. That was the Three's Company reference. And a Futurama reference. But anyway. Anywho. I don't have wheelchair so, access. I'm sorry, man. Unfortunately, I do not have that. We have like four people to like lift you up. We can like pull you up the stairs like backwards if yeah. you desire to do that. Get, getting down will be a chore. But I have no other way to get you in. Sorry. Um... What were we talking? Deathstroke. Anyway, Deathstroke. I'm I'm excited for that movie because you know that's like one of the other only characters with Raja Ghoul and all that. Like that would be in the, in that same you know genre. Is Batman gonna be involved in the Deathstroke movie at all? Well, that it's well, it's, ba- it's in the it, Batman movie. It's in the Batman movie. Oh, it's this not a standalone. In Justice League. Okay, no, so it's not. He a said standalone. it said that it was gonna be in the Batman movie, not in Justice League. They said both. Oh. Maybe he he probably will. He probably, be. I mean, honestly, this this is probably gonna be a both. Honestly, what I would love you would for know them, Slade, Slade Wilson, Slade oh. Wilson. Oh yes, I know Slade. Yeah. That's that's I'm, Deathstroke. Good old Slade. I'm also curious on which version they're doing. I'm sure since the, they did they announce it as Deathstroke. They said Deathstroke. Yeah, they said Deathstroke. If they made the Deathstroke's own movie, it should have just been called Slade. It well, I figured really cool. since it's the older Batman that has seen experience, like you know, seen stuff, it's gonna yeah. be, well, you know, an older slate. Like, thanks, you know, yeah. It it is uh, definitely because I mean, this is a universe that's already established Joker, and uh, I don't know if I want to say a spoiler, but you know, yeah, go ahead, Jason Todd, yeah, dying. well, they, they really never proved. Well, I mean, I'm they just never saying, proved though. it because the, yes, the did. yeah they did. did they yeah. So Jason Todd's dead. Yeah, uh, that's at least his suit. And yeah, right. That's his Batman well, he's Superman. definitely dead. Like the thing is, because the there was like a thing where he went back in time they, and saved him, and then that's when he became well, the. They've Red Red, even right? said though the reason why like the mm, Joker yeah, in I, this universe is like all messed up because Batman after he killed Jason Todd, Batman punched him in the face, broke all his teeth. That's why he's got a grill now. Because and then, like, when that. he was in Arkham, he had all these tattoos that says damage because he's like, Batman, you damaged me, and blah, blah, blah. Uh-huh. So. Well, he had JT tattooed yeah. on him, and so everyone thought, like, the fan theory was that he was Jason I, I thought that was, too. Honestly. Yeah. And, and that's why I was super stoked. I thought it would have been really that, cool. But really come, just come meet me outside. You decide. Eh, I rhymed. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Anyway. I'll take care of that. Uh, I'll do it. You don't have to meet do, me. Do, do we... Do we feel like we touched that uh, topic enough? With the because Deathstroke, honestly, super stoked. Not quite. I'm, I mean, what do you have to add? Like I said, I'm curious on which version they're doing. There's multiple ones where uh, Deathstroke was actually trained by Batman. Mm-hmm. That that's a twist because in every other I've never heard that I've only heard the ones where he's trained by Rage I've seen the one yeah, and yeah. then Rage is going to protege him you know and 
And then that's but, when uh, they had the son of Batman. when Damien comes yeah, in. Da Wait, why Damien he was get... born, and then he, you know, he went to his own blood instead of somebody else's. Tell yeah. Jeff to knock on the door. Uh, well, Jeff, Jeff's, gone. Jeff's already gone. outside real quick. So Where's Jeff? Yeah, off. Jeff's outside right now. Yeah. Uh, there's been... That one is where he's not injected with the... The Mirakuru? Mirakuru. Right. There's Mark another Zumba? one where he's trained from Ra's al Ghul. Right. Again, he's not injected with the Mirakuru. Right. He was only injected with the Mirakuru in the in the Green Arrow, I thought. Was there was there a comic book version yeah, of that? He was actually a super soldier. It it wasn't Mirakuru though. It wasn't that's not what no, it was called, but it was a super was, serum. Yeah, it was a super serum. Right. Uh he was a part of a military uh program. Right. Spec ops. They canceled it and they he went For, crazy. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> you tell a soldier that he's not used useful anymore what are they gonna do right <laughs> yeah that's anyone anyway but i really love that i'm super stoked for that to happen i am i definitely am because i actually really like the suit like they showed his costume did they yes is it is it like I mean, is almost it like, like the, the one like an arrow yeah yeah, yeah. okay it is. i figured that the they would use that yeah like yeah. pretty much because that was team. like awesome because that was the closest Shoot, especially when he's like when he's fully geared up too, like when he's got like the like beefy pads. Oh my gosh, man! Yeah, he he, it was awesome. It's definitely cool. Um, man, uh, I'm just thinking Green Arrow now because I'm I'm so behind on it. I'm like season three. Talking about Arrow, I kind of told you. Yeah, you said you uh, finished it. I finished it. And the Supergirl, right? I started mm -hmm. watching Supergirl. Oh, I'm so stoked. The fact that they're adding this into the DC, uh, like the TV universe. Right. Uh, so far, I have really enjoyed Supergirl. I'm not a big Superman fan. No, I'm not a big Batman Superman. all the way. I'm not. I don't like Superman either. I think I, he's overrated. Superman's boring to me. It's like it's like he gave him all the powers he needs, and he holds. It's back. like I mean, yeah. It's like he can beat anyone at any given time. It's there just is that he, like lets it be fair. There's a reason why they did that. Uh, what he was actually supposed to be based off of. Right. I get it. I get. I get it. I just don't like it. It's he's overpowered. Right. I mean, don't get me wrong. You made a god and then tried to make him like stand up to the the to freaking Captain Freeze, or what is Captain Cold? Captain Cold, yeah. It's like, come on, <laughs> he's got a ray gun. You're faster than a speeding bullet <laughs> since the seventies. Yeah, uh, he is way too overpowered. Uh, but I mean, his biggest weakness is a rock. That is true. I mean, really. A rock. It, yeah. throw, literally. Throw rocks, and I'm like, ah. Oh, 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 stop it. Hurt. Stop. <laughs> stop. One a rock. I, it's a radioactive element. It's, a, it's, it's an alien rock. It's, it's not even that. radioactive. It's an it alien yeah. rock. Actually, it, it is radioactive. In the show, they what? say it's radioactive. That's stupid, because the actual chemical compounds of kryptonite are, it's like fluoride and like chlorine and like like two other, like other rock it, based chemicals that are aren't alien even, chemical uh, it's alien an alien rock elemental well they, they found a natural occurring el not element but a natural occurring rock that was like 90 percent what kryptonite is and it wasn't even green it wasn't like it was just like a it was like a white rock like a chalky type rock yeah and i was like i laughed at that i was like that's kryptonite like man that's i think they called it that for a little while what well, not very long but um Anyway, speaking of uh, TV shows, uh, movies to TV shows. They, uh, I saw a commercial <laughs> just recently for a Lethal Weapon TV show. Yeah. That was my dad's favorite movie. I enjoy, I really loved the movies. Right. The movies are good. The TV show, 
you have to give me time to even really know the right. trailer that I saw. It looks like it could it be funny. Like it could be but then again, funny. the Rush Hour one looked like it could be funny. Yeah. Jump. And that was bad. Yeah, you don't <laughs> trust. Was. You can make anything look funny. I yeah. mean, they they made like have you ever seen like uh they they took like scary movie trailers, not not the scary yeah. movie, but like Hannibal Rising and stuff yep. like trailers. Yeah. And then they were like they made it into uh, a comedy trailer. They like it. they they backed it with like you know Seinfeld do doom do doom do you know bassy music and then they like said this quirky comedy and he's just like you know just like things like that and uh uh but one that I actually really did like uh it's on Netflix I don't know if it's uh Netflix only Limitless that was good yeah. I'm so mad that it got cancelled wasn't no, it that didn't. Uh, it did no yeah it did when it was like the last season got canceled. I CP, just, uh, C, uh, whatever the channel, they canceled it, Glenn. I looked at this. How Unless, long ago? Because like, it was a couple months ago. I just read a couple weeks ago that it's so they brought it back. Season two. No, I mean, the, I'm pretty sure it got canceled. Yes. No. Yes. All right, somebody fact check us. Fact come check back. us. We'll come, come back, back next us. week to that one. I swear it got canceled. Because I love because I was show. sad because I I did like it too and they got canceled. I only got a few episodes into it because the actual like network carrier like CW didn't, yeah C, it, no it wasn't was it CW. CW I don't think it was CW was it, it was HBO CBS I thought it was HBO yes oh CBS they yeah. didn't uh they didn't pick it back up for the second season well that doesn't mean it got canceled it just didn't get picked up for the second now, season I know Somebody they were looking at maybe Netflix but then I, I think that fell through. I mean, they uh, Netflix has brought back old shows. Yeah, they like, have. Uh, I mean, look at uh, Longmire. That was on. Uh, I can't remember what that aired on A and E. I think or something. Uh, but that got brought back. It was, right. and I actually really like that show, Longmire. Uh, I don't know what it's about or anything. You had to watch it. Uh, really interesting. Yeah. How was your poop? It was a wonderful poop. Actually. Yeah. It's, I felt it from here. It yeah. <sighs> so. Showrunner confirms you, on social media no new season. Oh. Netflix ooh. disinterested. Netflix is disinterested. Really? That sucks. Well, after they got Stranger Things. <laughs> Netflix Stranger what? Things. They disinterested. Uh, the sh- have you ever heard of the? There was a movie that came out a while Limitless. ago called Limitless, and it was a basically you know about basically a the guy was on Adderall. like yeah the guy was on Adderall. <laughs> it's <laughs> literally it's like a man on Adderall. <laughs> it's like the story. It, it literally is. So it's like Breaking Bad but worse. Huh. <laughs> huh. But in real life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Walter White. <laughs> And I approve this message. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do math. Oh my gosh. Don't throw I meth in your RV. <laughs> oh my gosh. No. <laughs> no. Oh, no. no. <laughs> so movies and TV shows. We also talked briefly about the Boondock Saints because Boondock Saints has been one of my favorite series. Yes. For, since I saw it. Since I saw the first one. Yeah. And um, you said that they were already have a script for three. Yeah, they have a script for three, and they're working on making it into a TV show. Now, I feel like the TV show could be cool, but they'd have to do it right. They can't it do it. It would be... I think they were looking a, at... Maybe a prequel, like, and they were going to have, like, player, like different people playing. Right. Uh, Connor and Murphy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's going to be, like, a younger Connor and Murphy. Right. That would be cool, but... You know, Norman Reedus wasn't even that old in the first one. You know what I mean? He was probably like 28. I've got time. I wasn't able to find him. He didn't come outside, so. Yeah. I'm not going to go like banging on people's doors to no, find people. So. I feel you. It's cool. Ugh. So, what was the other thing that we wanted to talk about, too? I feel like it was one more thing. Well, I, I haven't even talked about my stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, but were you, uh,. Were you done with the movies to TV shows, or was there? I feel like there was another movie to TV show that we talked about. Well, we had Rush, Rush Hour. Hour. We had Limitless. oh, Beverly Hills Cop. Oh, yes. Beverly, yeah, oh, that gosh. was it. Oh. We, 
No. With, with Eddie, <laughs> and you said it's Eddie Murphy's son? Actually. Uh, like, it's going to be Eddie Murphy uh, pretty much uh, and the show. It'd be his son. His son, okay. His character. His son. character's son. Okay, I thought you meant it was Eddie Murphy's son, like his actual son. Like, he's like, you know, and they said you said Eddie Murphy will actually be in it, and then we, uh, they, I think it'd be cool, you know, with Eddie Murphy actually being in it, you know. I, they said he'd do cameo. Right. Well, that's what uh, you know, uh, Nick Fury did in uh, Agents of Shield. Nick Fury was in one episode. He was yeah. in the season finale of uh, season one because he was talking about how he broke the ship. And he's, <laughs> he's like so mad. He's about to drop some MFs, you could tell, but he couldn't because it was a <laughs> family <laughs> show. <laughs> Gosh. You know, I love Sam Jackson, man. He's a he's a good one. And actually, now that you brought up uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., yeah. one thing I am really excited about, Ghost Rider is on, is going to be in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. now. Ghost Rider? Ghost Rider? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. They I was are not. I was never a big fan of Ghost Rider. Oh, no. Just, okay. No, no. Then Nicholas Cage kind of really hurt. No. Hold on. Nicholas Cage. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> he he ruined that character. It would be sick. <laughs> yeah. It would be sick. Oh, They're not doing that version. <laughs> Oh, they're doing a real version. They're doing a real version. Oh, thank God. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, Nick Cage. Thank God. Oh. Uh, I actually had to look up. Is Nicholas Cage involved? No. He was he nowhere consulted? Near. Is he, no. Yeah, was Good. he consulted? <laughs> Good. I'm glad nobody told him he's getting replaced. Is he writing the script? <laughs> uh, this version, it's not going to be a motorcycle. It's actually going to be like a uh, actual car. Uh, it actually looks really no. cool. I, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Uh, we'll just leave. Uh, Go. Uh, Does Nicolas okay, Cage have a Give son? Give it here. Because <laughs> I need to do it, too. Listen, Ghost Rider had the motorcycle. Ow. Yeah. He really did, like, in the t- in the series. But he there also is. had a horse. There is... Different versions, though. Right. I never saw one with a car. This is. I've seen. What was that? Night Rider. Well, then too, I've never seen a Joker covered in tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, Marvel's people take poetic licenses. That's the yeah. thing so is. Far, what I've seen. They got to be careful what they do when they come with this poetic licensing. You know, the creative licensing that they can. They're allowed to do whatever they want with the characters because. If you start ruining things, they're going to lose fan base for the people that are very true to the comic books and very true. Just like the Harley Quinn and the Joker of today of in, in Suicide Squad. That was nothing like that in the comic books. Their uh, relationship. Yeah. <laughs> Joker never loved her. Let's put it like Joker that. Joker did. He, Joker? Yeah, yes. he didn't show it. He didn't show it. He wasn't verbal. He was just like, They took out stuff, here. though, in the Suicide Squad that would prove that, you know... The, that he was in love with her. Because uh, I mean, it was more like brutal stuff. Oh. Yeah. yeah just, I don't know. Uh, just, and <sighs> with the people that say that. Just like Star Trek. <laughs> uh, there was never this version of Harley Quinn. There was. Uh, it's kind of one of those. She went off on her own. Right. Uh, that was before, when she was with Poison Ivy. Yeah. This was before the movie actually <laughs> aired, so hard, Glenn, or right. even they actually talked about. So right, right, right. right. Now I I do agree. I don't think the characters in Suicide Squad were bad. It's just they it didn't overall, properly just, lay it out because you don't go into somebody's backstory at the end of the film. Yeah. Well, they chopped it up so bad. <clears throat> like that's the thing about it. Well, was it that bad? Chopped it was up? chopped up bad. I still haven't seen it, but I just I did. Seen, you finally like, watch it? About it, most of it. I stopped a little bit. Wow, was it? It was no. That, I just I, I've been bad? busy. Like oh. I, it's hard to wa- sit there I, and watch a movie, I and especially when I'm like half watching. I was half watching it, yeah. so I'm like, uh, okay, right. I I'll probably end up sitting there. The theater. <laughs> anyway, um, we're gonna move on. I'm gonna talk briefly about like home brewing games because I think that should be a hobby. You know, I I said I might have said it already. Some people can vegetables. Kaz, I need to hit some, myself harder. Sorry. Some people, you know, grow <laughs> meth in their you basement. Do. You know, I think you should be able to make like Skyrim sixty four. 
You know what I mean? Like, make games on, like, old, outdated consoles. Yes. Like, you know, buy blank cartridges. You know, have, like, a, a easy to use software where you can, like, upload, like, almost sprites to, you know, be like, all right, this is the character. This is what he looks like at all four angles that you're going to be able to see him. You know, cutscenes would be a bit more difficult because you're not a, you know, you're not a cinematic guy. You know, nobody really is, but I feel like well, there should be some sort of easy to use software where you can almost take, like, the Aladdin game that came out for the NES and then implement your own, like, just looks and skins and everything because they've done that. Yeah. Actually, They're just mods. Yeah. Right. Uh, and the Pop at Sanusky. Uh, the Pop Shop actually used to homebrew games. Really? Yeah. And because you got to be careful with homebrews because of copyright and things mm. that you copy right. from other you're not games. Trying to you're sell not allowed it. to I'm do saying, it. Like this would be like now, personal you can use. make your own fan game and however you want to do it and have it yourself as long as it's not distributed anyway. Right. Um, but like we talked about the N64. Right. The thing about the N64 is um, there was actually a legitimate reason why it didn't work out. Um, was because what they had with hardware at the time, you couldn't make a homebrew without a special backup disc that you a really expensive backup disc that you had to plug into your N64 to allow you to mod it, hmm. um, to make your own um, homebrews. And, so, and then they finally came out with a way you didn't need that. By that time, the N64... It was outdated. It, yeah, the scene of the homebrew was pretty much gone. Now, they still make mods and stuff for the N64 that you can do. They're patches, per se, like Voyager of Time. That's a mod um, expansion, whatever you want to call it, to Ocarina of Time, but it's not a own homebrew game. But I would love to see some homebrew stuff coming out of the 64 for my in my opinion. Yeah, that would be awesome. You know, if they... Because I feel like that's almost probably the next logical step in gaming is going back and, like, yeah. like seeing what they could do for those... Because, I mean, the to technology be, that's gonna go in the in the actual game console or not right. the console, it's in the game itself. There's actually to be top. honest, to be honest, if I can tell you right now, if they came out with new games, publishers like if Nintendo came out with a new game for the N64, people would buy the crap out of it. Absolutely, oh yeah, oh, yeah. definitely, oh yeah. So I would Nintendo. If you're listening, Skyrim 64. Just waiting. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, would, I would totally buy Skyrim 64. If they, made, right? if they made Super Mario 64 2 for, and they announced it for the N64, I would literally get on my phone right this very second and pre-order it. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. I'd wait. Without hesitation. I'd go to a midnight release for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But you know what? I they don't exploit that. And, and what they could totally do is make everything like 90s retro, sell Surge. You know, like sell surge out there. <laughs> That'd be talk so about, great. Talk about the Clinton presidency. Oh Lord, all no. that jazz. You know, uh, <laughs> that, <laughs> bad timing. <laughs> <laughs> too, soon? Ah, too soon. Too soon. What? No, too early. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I don't know it's, if it's actually true, but there's talks that uh, the new Nintendo system, mm -hmm. the NX, yeah. Is going back to it, cartridge. Oh yeah, this has already been. It's pretty yeah. much heavily. I wouldn't be hurt. Like I mean, the there's no reason why like, not to. Yeah, you know. The only reason why not to is just because they look bad. But here's the deal with CDs and digital gaming. Digital gaming's great, but something happens to the well, console or something happens to your account. That's you the lose thing, everything though. with cartridges the physical aren't copy. like you know expensive like they were back then. Right. Yeah. So like that's I think that's one reason why they're going to go back to it. And I mean it does hold a lot of like you know space on it. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It does. I feel like people in our generation, though, are, are would rather still have a physical copy. Because I know, Jeff, you, you buy a digital copy, you still end up going to buy a physical copy yep. of that same game. Okay. Almost every okay. time. All right. I can't dispute that. Because I <laughs> literally, within the last week, bought a copy of Halo 3. Bro! When you I have 10 <laughs> copies of Halo 3! No, 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 no. No, I only have one copy, but it's a digital copy on my Xbox. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so I bought, it was only $4 on eBay. It was $4, four dollars, Eric! <laughs> Eric is $4. $4. That's my justification. It's $4. And now I have two copies of Halo, and if I don't have to be on that Xbox to play it. Jeff, you bought a digital copy of Borderlands. You bought... <laughs> You bought a regular copy after I told you I had a copy. I didn't buy it. That was Games with Gold. I got that for free. Okay, it, did, it was on fair, gold. fair. Yeah. 
But then I got two copies for the PC. <laughs> then you, did you buy those? But that was yeah. But that Why was for st- it was we for a stream. Buying, we had them we, for multiple consoles. Now. But it was for Stato. Re- it was, remember, it was for Stato because you went to stream with us That's true. playing Borderlands. But that. I only had the Xbox copy. There's a justification for this crap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think because I know wow, there's the more games that you pitch. bought. Yeah. Okay, I have four copies of Halo for PC. All right, how many copies of Halo Two do you own? I'm so glad you guys don't know which one I've bought a lot of. Look at him think. Look at how hard he has to think about how many copies of Halo Two he owns. Look, I think I have five, but <laughs> I have Is five. Is that including the Master I'm Chief Collection? No, but okay. listen, wait, listen. There's wait, a reason wait, for wait, that wait, too. System Link. <laughs> we had a System Link party. I needed that many. Hold on. Hey, Eric. <laughs> He's How many copies play. of whatever? So you don't even know, so I'm not going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> no, What's it called? What's it called? You know the game, apparently. Oh, yeah. Say it. It's get, you can't let the One of my favorite games. Uh, well, <laughs> that's uh, quite a I think Starts quite with a few. T. No. No. If you Tomb won't. Raider. Tomb Raider. Oh, how many <laughs> copies of Tomb Raider? Let's see here. I bought the 360 copy, <laughs> played it, beat it, bought the PC copy, played it, beat it, <laughs> bought the PS3 copy, played it, beat it, re- came out on the remaster for the Xbox One, <laughs> bought it, played it, beat it, <laughs> and PS4. <laughs> oh, five different, five different copies on five different consoles, and I beat them and all. And you beat them all. Are they all the same? Yes. Yeah. Oh my God! What's the point? Because I like okay. Tomb Raider. Because okay. He likes fair. All right. So I gotta, I gotta make one more admission when it comes to multiple copies of games. All right. Now that we're coming clean. So now that we're coming clean, I have to come clean this about this too. I had a physical copy of Fallout Three. Okay. Right. For the PC. For PC. It was a Game of the Year edition, so it had all the expansions. I still have it. Okay. I have three copies. But then I bought a Steam copy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because I wanted to be able to sync my games in the cloud. End up not working. So there was a justification to buy that. But this one I can't. I ended up buying a copy of Fallout 3 for Xbox 360 as well. And I have no justification for that whatsoever. You just want the achievement. I just wanted it. There you go. <laughs> It was six bucks, and I'm like, it was six Jeff, bucks. Only if six dollars. Money. If if a product <laughs> says save three dollars, and it's a six dollar oh, thing, money. and you weren't gonna spending, buy it, bef- and you weren't gonna buy it before, you're not spe- you're not saving three dollars. You're spending six. <laughs> all right, you're not saving money. I get it. I get it. But that's not was, how money works. I was, I was like, man, it's so cheap though. Like. I can have well, Xbox I'll never see copy. that again in the next 10 years. That <laughs> <laughs> game would be 50 cents in 2020, dude. It wouldn't be At that point, it wouldn't be offered. They wouldn't even offer it anymore. Mag. No. You could find anything on the internet. Yeah, but not on live. You were obsessed with that game. I, I was. Yeah, we're talking, this is like I intervention know. right, right Two now. Two copies of Fable I've ever owned, and not at the same time. And that is my all-time favorite game. Although I'll tell you what, though, if I saw it on sale, like somewhere, I'd buy it and I'd just, I'd just hang it up somewhere. And honestly, it wouldn't even be played. It would just be like a trophy. You know, it's over. sad because like the recent Tomb Raider that come out, I got it on the Xbox One just because I wanted to play it. But I have all intents and purposes of buying it again on the PS4. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> you don't. Even so you're gonna buy a sixth copy? Well, no, this is like this the is new the one. Just... Oh, yeah, oh, it's the sequel. Okay. It's so a it's, sequel. It's, That's this will be the second copy of that game. Well, because it came out, and I'm like, I really want to play the story of it. So I right. bought it, <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, I'm going to play through the story and never beat it. Who I mean, a, a never fight between a Stormtrooper or a Death... What does that say? Deathclaw. Deathclaw, because, you know, Deathclaw. Stormtroopers will miss. Deathclaw. Yeah. Well, here's the deal. Deathclaw, the theory, definitely. You know the, you know the I don't theory know. behind why they miss all the time? It's because Vader told them to. And the reason why that is is because he knew that... The people come and had to get to what they were doing in order to get to where it ended, blah, blah, blah. It, it, in fact, it was they missed purposefully. They were so shooting. Look, that's a fan them. theory. There's is, no it actual does make justification sense, behind about it. Fan theories. I saw one. I didn't look into it yet. I swear 
If you say Jar Jar Binks, just leave. If you say Jar Jar Binks, no, I, I just, he, he was okay. like, I was thinking I about actually that. did look into <laughs> that one. Oh, God. It, what is that, about him being a Jedi or something? Yeah. The yeah. Sith Lord. I heard about, oh, yeah. Sith, Lord, Sith Lord. Yeah, I heard about No, that. I didn't hear about the Sith yeah, Lord. Yeah, I've heard about that one. I, I heard the Jedi part. Yeah, he was, he was like a Sith Lord. He was like one. He was like ahead of Sidious, is what they're saying. Mace Windu. Well, in between him actually still being alive... I mean, they never show him actually fully die, except he got his he arm. Just, he got thrown, thrown, out, of thrown out of a window. Out of a what window. What did you think would happen? He landed safely on the ground. <laughs> and his <laughs> arm was like, oh, He landed on I marshmallows. Guess, okay, how, many, off. how many people have fallen through? <laughs> Anakin got burned by lava. <laughs> I hate you! I hate you! <laughs> <laughs> I loved you, Anakin! I we thought you were the chosen one! I hate you! Look out the high ground! <laughs> I've got but the high I ground, that again. Uh, Don't do it. Is that uh, Mace Windu is, uh, I think it's uh, Darth Sidious, the guy that actually trained uh, Palpatine. Oh, he's. Oh. Oh. Really? I heard he's still alive. Who, Sidious? No, uh, Windu. Someone said something. Uh, there was this theory that he was actually still alive. It's possible. I guess we'll find out in the next movie. There is also yeah. a fan theory that. Uh, Darth Maul. Oh, well, I mean, they There's already no, said that's, that, though. That's, that's I mean, there was, like, stuff, like, even in the uh, cartoons, like, he came back. That's no spoilers, good. please. I, I had not watched The Wars yet. Uh, so, sorry. Yeah, spoiler alert. Was all over the place. Star Wars. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Uh, and actually, in the books, yeah. uh, Darth Maul is still alive. Really? Yeah. He has spider legs. Mm. Hey, uh. It's dumb. What's our time at? No, I mean, time total time is string. It's on the chat. Chat. It's on it's the on chat, the chat. Top left. I, I can't see it. it. It's too small. Jeez. I think it says one hour and six minutes. Yep. One hour six. So, I Does guess it say one hour uh, six. Who would want to fight, Jeff, or me? You. I just sit on him. I'd be fine. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, um, no. Thanks, Kaz Gears. We've been I, live for one one hour, six minutes, and forty nine seconds. Forgot to add it up time. Anyway, what I wanted to do was uh, homebrewing games. I'm really excited to see what the you know that you know. I think that's the next next logical step in like gaming is going back. Yeah. <laughs> so. Because you know what, uh, I agree. Because let's. Be honest, the games that are coming out anymore are not original. People are running no. out of ideas. So that's why remasters, in my opinion, have been coming into play is because people don't know what the frick to do. I mean, so just they look just at Resident Evil. Remaster though. the original. Like they came out with like, all the Resident Evils and remastered. Yeah, yeah because you console. know what? They can't think of anything good to but come out like, with anymore because so they've that was extinguished kind of like a, the formula. That was kind of like know? a PR thing, though, too. They did all that to lead up to Resident Evil 7. Yeah. There's but like at the same time, though, Nobody knew that. And they're like, okay, you're throwing all these Resident Evils out on yeah, us. Yeah. Like, What's their purpose? Two yes. Resident Evils that I would love to see actually get a full remaster. Well, two's getting a remaster. Are they? Yeah. Is it? For yeah. sure? Yeah, Capcom already said Capcom. Antonio just lit that. up like a, just no. a candle. He's just like, it's what? Yeah, it's, it's for real. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. So. You know, probably probably hear more after 7 comes out. But. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, you tagged me in a post about mm -hmm. Because first it was going to be like a fan made remaster, and then Capcom shut it down, and then they started doing it. Hi, Jeff. Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Hey. He's going to lick your fingers. That's gross. <laughs> Did I actually lick your fingers? No. Thank God. <laughs> uh, it was pretty close. Was I felt close. something. I wasn't sure if it was my chin or your fingers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't know what's worse. <laughs> um. I, w I wanted to talk about because uh, we we had this idea uh, sure the mic. for you know the things that I follow is a little bit different than everyone else here. It's, I I'm, mean, I'm I, a little I bit, follow. I'm a little a bit more political and uh, a little bit more uh, in tune to how stupid everyone else is. I just <laughs> don't like to talk about it on stream. Yeah, no I've fair. Got, I've got time. Fair. If you donate a hundred dollars right now and we get confirmation, we'll fight on stream. That's as far as that's going. Oh. Wait, wait. Should Should, wait, be, me and you or no? No, those two. To, it'd be yeah. It'd yeah. be me and him. We had donate. You had to donate a hundred dollars and it has to be confirmed. You donate two hundred, Antonio will cut his hair. Yes. 
Oh, 500? Oh, 500. Yeah, you went up Luka. later. He, he, yeah, he changed it yeah. to 500. Anyway. If you donate $100 in addition, he'll shave his head right now on stream. Yep. Two, so $200, you get to see them fight and me shave my head. That's awesome. Anyway. And if uh, you do 1200 he's going to shave his beard. Uh, you, you, I'm shaving my whole body. <laughs> <laughs> That's against terms grand, of service. You don't you have to watch do it. Not. You don't have to no, watch it. But, uh, what, what point to here to here does it... <laughs> what point from here to here Eric, is it a no, problem? No, Eric, don't do. <laughs> don't do it. Don't so do I it. wanted to talk about uh, briefly... A new segment that I, I wanted to start off, because uh, I've been on the uh, Kill a Fox show, and um, it was also the... Uh, Maddie C. The Maddie C. show and the Leviathan Gaming Channel in general. I've you been too. on several uh, works that you've done, and uh, you've, you've helped us out immensely as well. And, uh, you know, you'll have your time to shine and take over and be demanding, but... Uh, I wanted to add a segment to that. <laughs> That's not something he does. That's not something I do. Either way, I don't really do that. I just um, go with it. The thing is, I wanted to start up a new segment called Loach's Corner. And uh, with that, that would be a little bit more political, a little bit like more bringing light to what people actually do for, for money. to or It's either for money to kill time or to get attention. And that's, that's the only conclusions I can come to think of it. And... Uh, I have some real court cases to share with you, and there's this guy in our town who's been suing just about everybody he can get in contact with for stupid reasons. Dude sued the, the town of Sandusky three different times, failed each single, he's never won a single case, single one of these cases. Mm -hmm. He's filed about 50 in the last year. That's why welcome back. And... The one thing that he, he sued the government building, he sued the judge for talking mean to him for nine hundred million. He took what? To what? Me. Oh yeah, no, hold on, hold on, I'm not even done. These are just the these are the high numbers. Nine hundred million. He tried to sue the state of Sandusky. Uh, the the state of eight hundred and whatever Sandusky? doesn't matter. You you know what I mean? It's Wait a minute. Town. Anyway, uh, he tried to sue. His mom and another government employee, his mom or his aunt, who works... Did they ground him? No, I don't know what it was for. But <laughs> they took dude's a grown TV man. Away. Dude's a grown man. He's, uh, you know, he has some yeah. sort of uh, mental disorder. But, you know, the fact of the matter is, they're still allow They allowed him... They just now made it so he has to go before a magistrate before he appeals anything. You know, before... It's, it's your right as a citizen to go to the court system and bring something to light. You know, that's for honest people. That's for yeah. people not just trying to get a paycheck. But the amounts that he's asking just tells you right there that he's just trying to get a meal ticket. That's all he's trying to do. He's trying to be comfortable for the rest of his life doing nothing. And that's what disgusts me as a nation, that people are so comfortable to put somebody else's welfare, to put somebody else's life to, you know, their, uh, what do they call that? Uh, Well-being? No, the ability to work and like all that. They're, they're like having a job. No, he's on work ethic. No, not work ethic. Never mind. It, it's the moment's gone. Anyway, it, it just disgusts me that people are able to the you know put their morals to the side just to for a buck. Yeah, for for a dollar for a comfortable life. You know, nobody's got it great, and yeah. that's what people don't understand. Nobody is happy. Not even those rich people. It's true. Especially yeah. those rich people. Because they think that's what was uh, they wanted, but they ended up. Uh, yeah. And it's, well, and after you get $900 million, wow, I'm still miserable. How about that? Weird. <laughs> no, We're not going to take it when we die. It's, right. right. What, what are you taking Our with you? My beard. That's it. Nothing else. <laughs> I want my beard to be like put on like a... I just... <laughs> I want to be stuffed and put in the corner of your house. <laughs> like, like this. Like... Like a I'm not stuffing bear, like you. I just in heaven. I'm just gonna be a floating beard and nothing else. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> disembodied beard. So, so another one of these court cases. Um, he tried to sue the West family, and I do mean Kim and Kanye. Why? Ask me why. Why he tried to sue Kim and Kanye West? I don't know if I want because to of the you. music. Uh, that was part of it. There was there was about ten different parts to this argument. <laughs> because of the music. Why was he wanted bad. to sue them? 
So he wanted to sue Kim and Kanye West, first of all, because Kim will not leave him alone. He's getting way too many phone calls from Kim West, and the kids that her and Kanye had are actually his. Those are actually his kids. Excuse me. And so he wants to be able to see them, but doesn't want contact with Kim. Okay. Let's let's wait a minute. Now, no, hold on. Let's get weird. Let's get a little bit weird here. Are we talking about the same person? Oh yeah, same guy. All same guy. <laughs> he uh, he sued my boss. Well, no, hold on. This is this. I'm still on the Kim and Kanye. He sued. He wanted to sue Kanye for stealing his wardrobe style for his clothing line. For Kanye West's <laughs> clothing sense. line, that was his style. That was all Ooh, his. Yeah. He took it. This this guy in Sandusky. Really? That's yeah. what I was like, wait a minute. Still in Sandusky? Open court. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's the same guy. This is all the same guy. I looked up these court cases. I was on the Erie County <laughs> court system and this this fella. It's and hilarious. The, the reason I found this out was because of Brian, my boss. He, he, he was getting sued for $300 million. <laughs> Where did they come up with this one? I don't like, know. The, the well, there was one that was like a really obscure amount. It was like eight hundred and sixty-seven dollars, or no, million dollars, eight hundred and sixty-seven million. He wanted, you know, like I don't know where he got that like weird number. Eight hundred sixty-six wasn't enough, obviously. Yeah, yeah, you needed a little bit more, yeah. but didn't quite need the nine hundred. Uh, Welcome to the stream, El Chico. El Chico. L El J, J Chico. El J Chico. I like and it. Yo. <laughs> so anyway, this guy, he tried to sue my. My boss for uh, my boss drives taxis, and he apparently didn't get picked up in time, and it caused him mental distress. And uh, so he wanted three hundred million for his mental distress. And uh, you know, it's a shame that he did that. You know, here's here's what he did. He costed Brian hundreds of dollars, actually thousands of dollars, to pay for a lawyer to pay court fees, mm -hmm. just oh, yeah. to lose the case because. Yeah. He went in. Every time he got sued, it was he was self-represented. <laughs> he he just went in himself. He didn't have any sort of backup. No no sort of lawyer. You know he couldn't afford one. Mm -hmm. So he's just going in there trying to represent himself. So and literally Brian said that he said this in court to the judge. He goes, "I'm just trying to get paid." How quick do you think he lost that? They didn't have another court session. That's that was it, and so they finally are making a motion against this fellow, to uh, you know he has to appear before the magistrate to even get a court case. But you know the Kim and Kanye thing. When I read that, I thought he was joking because Brian was like, "Oh, he's suing Kim and Kanye West." And I was like, "No, he's not." And I was like, "Holy <laughs> crap, he's trying to sue Kim and Kanye West." So Kim and Kanye West literally had to get a letter in the mail from this guy saying that they were getting sued in this town for those reasons. Yeah. So so Kanye, being the jealous type he is, I could just imagine oh him being like, are you talking to this guy in Sandusky? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, honey, I just love you. <laughs> That's, you know, just people are so willing to throw other people under the bus and their well-being, their welfare, their... Uh, there, there's a word. What? There, it's the same word that I'm stuck on. I, I don't see remember it. It uh, doesn't really matter. Hey, it sounds worse than No Man's <laughs> Skies. You know, but the, I don't uh, know. Something about and no you Man's know Sky. how oh. ducking bad that was. Whack. Yeah, yeah. No Man's Sky was bad. Nah, this is this is this is worse than No Man's Skies. Yeah. It is worse Promises. than No Man's Skies. Speaking of worse than No Man's Skies, how about the presidential election this year? Oh huh? God, Are November. We we're going to know who's going to lead our nation. Are we actually doing this? Yeah, yeah. Just let me, let me, let me do my thing real quick, and I'll, you know, oh you'll, you'll hear what I have to say. Okay, all right. It's not. It's not. I'll completely, give you a chance. Ugh. I'm scared. Okay. All right. Now, as we both know. The presidential candidates for the greatest nation on the planet, the United States of America. We, we as, as a people, narrowed down the 300 plus, how, how, many, how many million people in, it's about 350 million people in our nation, I do believe. Anyway. I three, don't so know. 350 I really don't know, yeah. million people in our nation. You can go ahead and look that up. And we, we narrowed it down to Hillary Clinton and... Uh, 
Donald Trump. For All some right. stupid reason. Now, now, something doesn't seem right there to me because... Well, isn't there I, a third party? There's, there's a, a third there's party, an but, but come on now. You know, if we're being logical here, it's Democrat and Republican, and that's not dictated by the people. Everyone knows that. Now, let me, let me go, go deeper into detail. So 300 million people plus in this great nation of ours, and we picked Hillary Clinton, who can't even control her bowels. I'm pretty sure she's brainwashed by, you know, like literally in the 1970s. Bowels? Bowels. She can't control her bowels. She literally cannot. Where, where did oh. she has a she has a doo doo bag? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, not many people do because it's not publicized. But that's okay. You know, she she can't control herself, and and so we're gonna pick somebody who literally has like she, she was in the hospital for pneumonia. Like, you can't be sickly and be president. You can't. All right. Uh-huh. Delano Roosevelt, FDR proved that. <laughs> Even though he got three terms. I wonder what that was about. Oh, yeah. Rothschild. Rothschild. Oh, who knows about them? That Everybody was, uh, knows about Rothschild anymore. Yeah. yeah. They, yeah. they wanted to be in the darkness so bad about their family incest. Their, uh, you know, they, they, they were so scared about outsiders coming to steal their money that they actually married their own cousins through generations and generations just to keep the money in one spot. Now, that greediness... Just they built up their wealth and then started to buy banks. And uh, you know, there's one country that finally out- outlawed Rothschild banks, and that was uh, not Germany, but it's by Germany. I'm, I'm gonna have to fact check this next time, but Ukraine. it's uh, no, it's not Ukraine, that's not even by Germany, Russia. No, it's by it's like in Florida. between. No. Just say- no, don't worry about it. What? <laughs> Oh, how many people are in our nation? Uh, from now, 324 million, 632,000. So 324 million. So 300, almost 325 million. Right about million. 324 million. Okay. There's cool. almost 325 million people in our nation, and we narrowed it down to those two people. Donald Trump got a loan of a small loan of a million dollars when he was uh, in his small 20s. Small loan. Yeah. Listen, if I had a million dollars, I'd probably be a billionaire too. I'll tell you what, because people can invest that yeah. money. People can do this. People can do that with that money and build up a wealth, build up a fortune. Right. Yeah. Now, if you do it right, given Donald, I believe he is a very intelligent individual. I do, because nobody can manipulate the media that well, well enough to say in the 80s how you'd never become president because the Republicans would be so dumb to well, vote think, for you. Well, think about how, then, how this election going started Going as a Republican out. candidate. Right. 20, 20, 30 years later. Well, think of it this way. Think of how the election started out. When he first casted his potential running for president, people laughed their faces right, off. Like, on, this is never going to happen. On live TV. Like, yeah. there's, a joke. there's no way. Everyone thought it was a joke. Yeah. And like, oh, no, there's no way did. Donald Trump's going to be run for president. <laughs> he has, like, probably 10% of his support at that time. Was uh, fictitious. Yeah, but then it, by, by that I mean then, like they're like, yeah, Trump. Yeah, even though because they turned. thought he was a reality star. Exactly, and then it turned the, to everyone's actually saying, "Oh God, I hope Trump wins so Hillary doesn't." You yeah. Know? See, because, it's because honestly, people why people are like kind of flocking towards Trump is because he just doesn't care what he says. He's not like he's he not, just people, says what. Yeah. People yeah, are not so reserved. people are so sick of politics, yes. and he's not a politician. And he's not a politician. He's a so they just man. run. People That's that why they are, like I do more believe, run to him. I do believe he has a business sense enough Safety. to get us out of a deficit. But uh, do I believe he has the business sense enough to lead I don't know. a nation? I don't know. No, not necessarily. No, I do not. I do not. Better believe than Hillary. A single well, person. Yeah, better than in Hillary. This yeah, country. Yeah. Better than Hillary. Uh, only thing is with Donald Trump. Safety. What's up? His. Uh, like businesses actually he Failed. went yeah yeah he went bankrupt Trump yeah. University alright hold on he's had several businesses that went bankrupt out of the list of current businesses that he owns the four that went bankrupt there's about 50 businesses that he actually has his hand in and he's currently grossing money on so you can't say that he's a failure just cause he oh, failed no, four saying. times you know Henry Ford spent eight years trying to develop an engine to, for his Model T. You know what I mean? He stayed in his basement until he, until he figured it out. You know, Donald Trump said, I have enough money to throw some here. Let's see what happens. That's not dumb. 
Yeah. It's not a dumb move. It's very it's smart, very frugal. <laughs> when you're rich, that's an experiment. Exactly. <laughs> Just because he's throwing that money away, that money is still going out to the people. So he has helped the economy in a sense in yeah. that way with failed businesses. And that's anyone. Now, Hillary, her anti-Trump Trump ads, let's start this. Her, Hillary's anti-Trump ads have been literally, you wouldn't want a president who said mean things. Right. That's, that's I literally that's saw an ad mean that said that. He said mean things. And I was like, is that the best you could say? You killed people. Benghazi, anyone. <laughs> Benghazi. Exactly. And then the anti, anti-Hillary anti ads are about Benghazi and about how that happens. The thing I hate most about Donald Trump is his supporters, are his followers. Yeah. Old women getting beat up. Yeah. I've heard about that because people don't understand that you don't do that people at my old school when uh when the president got elected when obama got elected there was fights at my school i actually left school that day because people were fighting because the it was my school was like divided the rednecks on this side and black kids on this side and they all like went at it like it was a war and i'm just sitting over here like you all are so stupid anybody this wants means cocaine? nothing <laughs> <laughs> sit in the middle like Anybody wants some weed? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I, nobody. You had no right to make that assumption. You're right. <laughs> no. What? I, I was like, it makes no difference who no. is your president. What you just decided? What you think? They're high school kids. Nobody in that school voted. Well, you know what? There's are even with that well, same concept. Well, there's people fighting. To, yeah. Literal vote. fighting between Hillary and uh, Trump. Because you believe something different. Back in the day, if you supported someone else, okay, this is my stance on it. If you don't agree, you don't agree. Fine, whatever. You know, you right. beat somebody up well, because you're so less, sensitive so, anymore. Oh, yeah. right. That's bull crap. That means you're childish. People you are trying no to be morals. victims. And that goes along with those court cases. Yeah. Everybody wants to be a victim. Yeah. Everyone wants compensation. Especially, it's like things that happened to your, it's your more lineage lu- it's more lucrative. 100, 200, 300, yeah. 400 years ago. They, they don't mean a thing now. What means a thing now is we are all Americans. <laughs> we are all in this together. What? What's happening? Insane. I can't read it. I can't read it. Anyone needs a sense of being? <laughs> sense of being. Sense of being. <laughs> Pretty much. Anyway. Pretty much. Um, oh, no, the way I'm looking at this is... And thanks for the joke, by the way. Keep it. How do we lighter. get to the point where we're yes. so messed up as a country that we are looking at two different people that both suck? You, I mean, you know, both sides. I mean, any presidential candidate, presidential candidate, any person in general will in never last, be will never be perfect. In the last fifty years, it's been horrible. Yes, and that's that's a lot to do I with mean, Rothschild. That has a lot to do with who's controlling the money, and you know, one of the problems that uh, I'll be honest, Bush tried to solve. And I firmly believe, because we shouldn't have went to war when we did, Mm -hmm. with who we did. Mm -hmm. We went to war with a country. We weren't supposed to go to war with a country. We went to war with what would soon to become ISIS. That's who we were supposed to go to war with. Basically, the terrorist groups is what we were. But he said it was a war on this country, and everyone's like, bomb the country. Nobody understands that there are innocent people in that country, just as there are innocent people here. And then we create the the more terrorists because we ended up destroying the country. And quite honestly, we we actually... Funded, uh, we gave them the weapons. That oh, they absolutely! Used. Exactly. Clinton did that. Hillary yeah. did that. Freaking specifically. Uh, what I was going to say though is the reason that I brought up Bush. Bush did one thing. He tried to unite us as a nation. Mm-hmm. He did that the wrong way mm-hmm. by uniting us against the Another common nation. enemy. Yeah. He tried to do it that way. That's not how we need to be united. We need no. to be united because of all of our situations. Because of all of us sitting here. You know, I mean, just look at it now, though. Like that happened. It lasted for a little bit, it was, and we're it was like about worse than off. Years. Like than it was we've about ever, six yeah. years, and then it was it was blame him. Now it's blame him. Now it's going to be blame her. Or Bush blame did nine eleven. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It, that they had to. They can't prove that. <laughs> <laughs> they can't prove it. You know, the uh, Photoshop stuff. The I've money seen. is tearing the world apart. Exactly yeah, it. it. Really exactly. That's what it is. Well, when two people so much control one percent of the wealth. Yeah. Or no, excuse me. When two, I think it's five percent of the nation controls ninety-five percent of the wealth. Yeah. yeah. So 
5% of America controls 95% of the money. That other 95% of America controls the rest of the 5% of the money. Yeah. So why is there an issue? It's because the broke people are getting broker and the rich get richer. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, they're like, well, nobody who works 40 hours a week should be poor. Well, you know, <laughs> you know, I, and it goes, it's everything. It's pharmaceutical companies. It's, it's gas companies. It's, it's electric the, companies it's everything the companies have a say on everything everything i and mean it, data. It's true. <laughs> exactly all right it's everything it's it's we're getting extorted from all sides and part of that has to do with jobs going overseas as well yep. jobs going you know to mexico canada and that hurts us because and that's why people like trump's policy so much is because he even specifically says i'm going to make it it he just spoke like two days ago about how Ford said they were going to move all of their small vehicle um, production to Mexico. Yeah. All of it. 100% of it to Mexico. He says, if I become president, I'm going to give them a 35% tax on bringing, yeah. importing their vehicles back. Absolutely. So they will not Making be able to turn expensive. any profit at all if they import their vehicles back. Yeah. No profit. Honestly, Trump, genius. He's, he's That's a, a good way to do it. I that mean, is a good way to right. do it. Go look at Sony. Exactly. You Sony's... Know, <laughs> and I'll be honest yeah. with you, too. You know, what's probably going to happen in the election is we're going to elect a president with the best uh, vice president, and then we're going to impeach the president. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> it's going to happen. So the vice president's going to be president. That's most likely what's going to happen because nobody wants either party so bad. Yeah. This is the worst I've ever seen our country divided. I mean, are we swiping or are we chipping? Okay, here's one more thing you I know? want. Here's one more thing I want to point out. Is That's so stupid. <laughs> right now, both okay. In the history of all elections, there's always been mudslinging. A matter of fact, mudslinging was actually outlawed, banned. Yeah. What happened to that ban? It was ignored, just like uh, the war on exactly uh, everything. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So think about that. All right. Back in the day. Yeah, there was always been mudslinging, normally not by the actual c candidates themselves. That's why they had to add the, the tags at the end of it that says, I am blah, 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 and I endorse this message. Or if you're not part of that group, you uh, endorsed by it, you have to mention that you're part of this group that had nothing to do with the actual presidents. So right. there could be mudslinging, but it would have to be by some independent group. Yeah. That's the ads that would go up. Okay, but the actual presidential candidates, they can actually have discussions on issues. Look at the last freaking, what was it, the, um, the, uh, the conventions. The Democratic convention and the Republican convention, when they had those conventions and talking amongst the nominees, what happened that during that time? All they did is talk crap to each other. Yeah, yeah. They didn't say anything Your except, so you bad. suck so bad at doing this. Oh, let's bring up this topic. Well, this candidate that wants to do I, this, well, I want to do that. You, you know, know what? I instead do. of what it used to be where it's, this is my stance. This is how I would approach it. This is what I want to do. If I get elected, this is what's going to be. And then it moves on to the next person. But now it's just a bunch of mud throwing. All they do is say, you, this person's worse than I am it's, in this area. Yeah. And that means nothing. That shows both of them are immature, unfit to be president. Whoever's on that stage, yeah, if you do same. that, you are not fit. Because all you're going to do the whole time that you're president is start blaming other people. Yep. Correct. Yeah. One thing that uh, Hillary actually did in one of her uh, rallies, she made a joke about the emails that yeah, she deleted. Yeah, that she deleted. Yeah. She, 10,000 hey, classified emails. Where'd they go? Hey, I just made a Snapchat. Don't have to worry about stuff anymore because it's automatically deleted. <laughs> there you go. There yes. you go. Kids love me. Start Snapchat. How you doing, fellow kids? <laughs> Start Snapchatting Listen, like I wanna classified documents. <laughs> I want to go to a Clinton rally, right? And just raise my hand. And when they call on me, just say Benghazi. And then see how quick I have to get escorted out. Mm -hmm. You know, that's all I'd have to say. I'd just go... Yes, uh, okay. Ms. Clinton. Benghazi. So. And then just, I would get tackled yes, from four or different sides. Emails. Or, um, what? Deplorables. There's, there's or any of those things. Looking, you know? looking oh, past the emails, looking past the stupid crap that she's done, just because, whoops, I'm just a ditzy woman. Wah, whatever. Wah, wah. I, I swear she's trying to pull that card a little bit. I swear. Yeah. She's not that dumb. You can't be that she dumb and was, be in the position you're in. She yeah. was fired. Uh, when she was actually a lawyer for, uh, for lying, for lying, her boss even said she is She's the one, one of the most, most yeah. 
dishonorable people. Uh, distru- uh, distrustful. Yeah. yeah. Distrustful. Yeah. <clears throat> I watched another video that um that really cracks me up. It was a it debunked some of the stuff that's going on. That one of the uh, chairman on the um on Congress, they were interrogating her, Hillary. Yeah. And it was some cut information, cut footage from those interviews that was on MSNBC or I've whatever. Seen it. I've seen and it. it, the person asked her a question that was very direct about a certain issue, and she got really mad. Like she was silent. She got really mad, and then someone else spoke up off the microphone and said, "You're not allowed to ask that question. That's not part of the deal, or something like that." You're not, that basically saying that it wasn't on the script. You were not oh. allowed to ask that question because it wasn't rehearsed. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. And there's no other way to take that, you know? That's all you got to say, yeah. Benghazi. I'll say it a hundred times. So now, I there's up, a lot man. of crap out there, um, too, that's faked. Like, I saw a video about how, oh, Hillary's got the worst health in the world, and it showed clips of her being on stage and stuff like that. She probably does have some health issues. Uh, but the she, clips that she, I've watched, um, for example, the, where the, she apparently spaced out and had a seizure on stage where she was like looking around yeah. and a secret agent had to come up behind, uh, or certain yeah. secret service had to come up behind and said, just keep talking, keep talking. I'll just keep talking. They cut that clip. You didn't see the whole thing. I, I actually looked up the, the whole speech that she was having. And if you listen to the beginning and then listen to the ending... It had nothing to do with that. I'm like, everybody's been watching this clip like she was having a seizure. No. If you look at the beginning of that clip, you could hear people screaming in the background, and she's actually staring at them, getting angry. And then he walk, uh, the Secret Service walks up and says, keep talking. And they went up, and they were Trump supporters coming in, disrupting her um, convention. Yeah. Uh, the, her thing you know, is again, like... Trump supporters. I don't like them. I'd rather... I. Yeah, watch out. You're going to get shot. Be careful. Here's the, here's the <laughs> Yeah, no, no, listen. I don't like Hillary support. Well, and I'm not defending deal. Hillary when I say that. I'm not. I'm yeah. saying you can't believe everything either. No, you can't because Along, media is going to teach you teach what media knows. Along the same line, uh, actually, as uh, doctored uh, photos. Right. Uh, there's actually, we all know there's that uh, issue with uh, Kaepernick not standing oh. at. Uh, uh, during the and anthem. during that time when they were covering all that, there was sixteen billion dollars that went missing in the Pentagon. Yeah, how no about one covered that. that. Weird, right? Of tax dollars, was wait, whose money was it? Ours. Yeah. Oh my oh, gosh! And but go ahead. Money also, the missing. pipeline yeah. issue. Yep, the pipeline <coughs> issue too. Uh, and someone yeah. actually brought up that uh, uh, Trump didn't put his hand over his heart during. Uh, the American Anthem. They mm-hmm. actually debunked that. Uh, they actually showed the real picture of him standing next to everyone else with his hand over his heart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just stupid. Yeah. It's very it's, easy to alter a picture now because yeah. it's 2016. Yeah. I could you know freaking I mean? do it. But on a lighter note, you'll actually laugh at this. Probably. Uh, it, it's a Harambe oh, thing. <laughs> It has a picture of Harambe with the little boy. Yep. And it said, quick, I don't have much time. I have information about Hillary Clinton. That could lead to her arrest. Yeah. yeah. I saw that. Here's the deal. I saw that. Honest. That's terrible, but it was funny. Since this is on the internet, I'm going to be honest. If I end up shot, dead, anything, just know that these are my best friends here. And they he probably me. did it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What I was going to say is they, they know me well enough to know that I'm not going to do anything stupid. So if, yeah. I, if, I, if I ended up uh, uh, well. stupid's relative, I understand. Oh, yeah. All right, all right, all right. All right, I'll go with that. So if I end up dead, it's not an accident. Indict Hillary Clinton, presidency, 2016. Hillary for uh, Hillary for prison. prison. <laughs> yep. Nobody for president in 2016. Killer you know, you know we need to uh, just, you know how relationships just take breaks. Yeah, I think we just need to take yeah. a break. We need to find ourselves. <laughs> yeah, find yeah. Ourselves. we need to. It's find not ourselves. you. It's us. It's, not <laughs> it, it, it's really it's, you. It's not you. It's it's everyone else hates you. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, the entire America just needs to go to like you know, douchebag anonymous. We need to be single for a little while. Find ourselves. <laughs> exactly. Um. 
Anyway, Anyways, I think that kind of wraps up the, rest, does, of the yeah. uh, rest of the yeah. podcast. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, just kind of a precursor to what Loach's Corner is going to be a little bit. We told him that we need a purge. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We need, the, we need an apocalypse. We don't need a purge. <laughs> <laughs> Let it be natural. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. No, no man should kill another man because no man should have to take another man's life. Let's put it like that. Unless that man deserves it by taking another man's life or ruining the life of somebody else. Let's put it like that. Does that make sense? Okay. Hillary for prison. Okay. Um, All right. Anyways. Anyways. We're going to wrap it up. Again, I'm Papa Loach. I'm all right. <laughs> I'm, I, do, and, do oh, I'm, schni- I'm Schnivaz. <laughs> wow. Patient assassin. So bad. Oh, I'm, I'm Killer Fox. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Killer and I'm Fox. depressed. <laughs> <laughs> you need a Just better add. sign off. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> we need a, we need a zombie. Sorry, can, I, can I just there we go. We need a zombie. Now? Guys, take it easy. Make sure you check what? out. Uh, uh, we are actually why? going to be doing. Oh, yeah. Next, uh, week, we have all, hold on. next week, we are not on, streaming at all. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah, I wasn't going to say it. It doesn't matter. I'm it glad. Does. Quit pointing at the camera. I'm looking at you because you're pointing. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be off next week. There's no streams next week. Uh, everyone, just have a wonderful evening. Jeff, do your thing. I was, but you just but said you it for me. But you kind of went crazy. Everyone's <laughs> yelling at me to do stuff. I didn't tell you to do anything. <laughs> well, that has been it for, for the Chivo. No, uh, Jeff. No. Not next week. No. I'm getting you. killed. No. Eric, no. No. I love you. No. Can you take me with Again. you. No. That is what it is. You guys enjoy. Make this sure is closest to his butt I've ever wanted to be in my life. Give us too much. Follow. I just crushed him. Follow, follow, follow us on Twitch. Oh gosh. Uh, subscribe YouTube, to us on Twitter. Twitter, Facebook. We've got all of that. Yeah, Good and stuff. also make sure you check out uh, Killer Fox's channel, Leviathan Gaming. Leviathan Gaming. Um, check out the Matty C Show. He has amazing stuff over there too. So check him out. Thursday um, throwdowns are always amazing. I've been on a couple. Uh, my nuts hurt so bad. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and, uh, I bet. Uh, um, yes, but coming the week after, we will be doing a speed run with good old the Phantom One One Five, and he will be speed running. What? Nah. nah um, nah. he's speed running. Um, Yoshi's Island. That's gonna be interesting. That'll be the first real speed run we've ever had on our channel. That's gonna be pretty cool. So it's gonna be me and him. Make sure you check that out. That will be not this coming week, but the week after on a Friday, if not Saturday. Okay. Um. So, but anyways, yes, we will not be doing anything next week. So do not expect anything from us next week. I will be on vacation, and everyone else apparently is incapable of doing things without me. Thank More you guys. Like I Have will a- be. On a retreat for I my know. youth group. I know. So. I'm giving you guys crap. This and guy then I'll so. have my stuff. <laughs> exactly. So, so all I'll right, have guys. <laughs> have a good night. We love you. Peace out. Is See it night? Guys. I don't even know. No, so. it's not. <laughs> it, afternoon. Night for them, probably. Or Evening, like two in the morning. Afternoon, whatever it is. Later, Peace guys. out. We love you. Later, guys. Bye. See ya. Bye. 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 <laughs>